Beautiful people, most welcome to the page here on GBC News. This is where we do chit chatting. This is where we get those who matter when it comes to sports development. Today, we are celebrating excellence in football. We are looking at Division Two football, Greater Accra Division Two football. It has been climax, and remember, it's one of the the biggest uh, uh, Zone Two leagues we have in this country. And so, uh, it was grouped into so many zones. Today, we're celebrating one of them, and. Uh, um, the Zone 2 champions are in the house. No other person than us. We are here to celebrate them. Kotoku shining stars. This, they, they have a unique story. It's the reason they are here today to really share some with us, for us to really understand. The rest of the teams who become winners in the various zones will be coming. And so don't worry if your team is not here. Uh, at the right time, they will be here. But we are starting with this evergreen, beautiful team that really uh, played beautifully, and at the end of the day, were crowned beautifully. I have a giant trophy in the house, but as to how the giant trophy came, you need to know the story behind this giant trophy here. And so without much ado, I have a uh, lovely guest in the studio. And so like we do tradition here, so for us, it is their first time, we allow them to tell us who they are, and then we, we start with how we really want to go. So to my immediate left is the evergreen, Every day smiling, every day welcoming, every day playing the role as a mother. <laughs> and she is indeed a great woman. So uh, she's here. Mom, most welcome. Thank you. Uh, share with Ghanaian. Uh, those who don't know you for the first time, you are here. Mm -hmm. That's a tradition. Tell us who you are, your name, and your role. All right. Thank you for having me. I would say this is the second time meeting you. Um, but then we are happy to be here on your spots. Um, program. So my name is Nana Sikatego. Mm -hmm. I am the CEO of Kotoku Shining Stars. Ojuba, great. And so uh, you heard Nana. And so next to Nana is this gentleman. You see the way he's sitting down quietly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there, you wait. Put the ball uh, in front of him and then just get the greens ready and then see what this gentleman will do. Okay. You also tell Ghanaian your name and your role. Thank you very much for having us here. My name is Kofi Amwaku and I'm the general captain of Kotoku Shanistas. Okay, general captain, capital one, El Capitan. Hmm. Then next to him, uh, uh, <laughs> you start smiling right now, I don't know. <laughs> okay, he also tell us your name and your role. Uh, thank you for your honor. My name is Na Martin. Okay. Uh, the TM of Kotoku Stars and the goalkeeper trainer. Okay, so you see the gentleman, TM. TM for the I can hear of it. Everything is in their domain. TM. The day to day run. They are more than general secretaries. So they make sure that everything works out. Okay. So today we are celebrating you guys. There is a trophy here that um I want you guys to talk and how this trophy landed uh in your custody. Now it's in your cabinet. Uh, so you tell us. So let me start from you, Nana. Nana, when we talk about uh football development in this country, and uh we look at what you are doing. Somebody has sat down, looked at you and said, oh, Charlie, this thing, they are doing very well. Today, you've climbed to this height. What us to when we talk about Kotoku, football club, really, um, one, what led to you guys coming on board and saying that, let's do this? And then also tell us how the journey has been so far. Okay, so um, Kotoku came about by a dream of one person who played football in his youth but then due to injury he couldn't I mean um, fulfill his dreams to play in a professional football so down the line decided to look for good talent in the community so he can put them together and just train them help them train them to a different level yes yeah, so somewhere in 2019 he started this he started it and you know the football is like um <laughs> it, it pushes you mm. once you start something pushes you to go to the next level but initially we didn't, we didn't think about it as being a club mm. it was just something for the community but then, 2019, we decided to join the third um, division three, the Ghana North mm -hmm. Municipality. 
but then COVID also set in, mm. we had to relax. So in the 20, down to 20, 21, 20, 20, 21 season, we started in the Division 3, in the Ganoth, where we played just in a season, then we qualified mm. to the Division 2. Yes, we qualified to the Division 2. Then um, from 2021 to 2022, we played our first season in the Greater Accra Division 2 um, um, competition, mm -hmm. the league. Yeah, uh, I think we played in Zone 7, that's around the Magina catchment area, where we placed fourth in the first year, we played fourth. And subsequently, the second year, we we came down to zone four, which is around the Fadama, Alajo mm. area. Yes, where we played second. Mm. That was a 20, 22, 23 season. Yes. So, I mean, coming from fourth to second, we're excited. We, we thought that we could do better. Or if we put in a little bit more effort, we could get the ultimate. I remember in our last interview, I mean, I even mentioned to you that I was looking forward to winning <laughs> this year's, um, this season's um, league. Mm. Yeah. So first, we played in the 23-24 season and yeah, we came victorious. Okay, so the, the, the trophy you are seeing on your screens, a beautiful trophy, giant trophy. Uh, this one, if it's in your cabinet, you, you need some more space because it's, it's big enough. Uh, to occupy everything. So, uh, Zone 4 champions, this was a trophy they had yeah. and a beautiful trophy out there. And so, that's the story. So, if you don't know anything about Kuchuku, uh, please get to know that um, one thing is certain about them, consistency. They always want to grow. They will always want to expand. Uh, that's the team that we are celebrating. And so, if you're out there also, you pick a lesson from them that when you get to one, don't relax there. You can still do better. Go ahead. And then you keep going. By the time you say Jack, You've moved on. So I'm going to the, 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 the general captain himself to tell us what sort of season did you guys get? 2023, 2024 season. Tell us. You've played some of the seasons before, but this one, how will you describe the season? Um, I'll, I'll say thank you very much again. Uh, 2024, 2023, 2024 season is one of the best seasons we've had. Mm -hmm. um, we started very well. And I think we won our first five games. So we, we, we were motivated. We thought we are there. And with our technical men and our process, we were able to make it. So it, I, I would say this season was our best season. Now, I, I'm still there a bit longer. Um, it wasn't just a 14 group. Um, some of the teams had 14 teams, others had 15, others had 13. In your group, how many teams made up a uh, zone four? 14. 14. And out of the 14, you, you were able to maneuver your way to emerge supremes. Which of the matches did you really play, both home and away, that you thought that this one, yeah, it was tight for me, difficult games for me? Uh, Tell us. Like I always say, our first game between Sporting Academy mm. was the toughest one. We, we did the 15 in the first 15 minutes, we were in control of the game, so we thought we could beat them so easily. But to our surprise, these guys scored us first game, first goal. We struggled to equalize, but at the end of the first half, we were down four. Four goes to two. We scored a four, two in the first half. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was me, the captain, and the captain, I was like, "Wow, I I wouldn't see this game. Our aim was to qualify. What's happening?" So, when we went back, our technical men sat us down, spoke to us, we came back to the second half. We came back to the second. And then the magic started. We won. The game ended, and we won five, goes to four. And we were so happy. Wow! What a comeback! I, I wish I was there to really see how the demeanor on your faces and at the end of the day, Tim, everything is on your shoulders. Really, um, how easy? You see, you've made it beautiful. Everybody here, we are celebrating. We're talking about uh, Kutuku, but really, the job on the ground is not easy, and especially in Division Two, where now uh, there is pressure on Division Two. There is relegation. <laughs> there is promotion, even promotion ground. You have to go and play middle league before you even get to the, the, the big boys, please. How has the season 2023, 2024 been for you, Tim? I say thank you once again. 
2023-2024 season is one of the excited season I've experienced because when we started the season from pre-season to starting of the season, my boys were so on top. We were ready for what we are in for. As we started the season, our first five matches, we took it and we won it. But as time goes on in football, there are a lot of things. You can't have the glory always. At times, you need to meet one or two things. But you know, a big thanks to my captain. At times, like, I've been struggling. I would just pick my phone and call my captain. How can I do this? How can I do this? He would just call me. TM, let's do it like this, do it like this. Okay, thank you. I'll call my CEO, talk to my CEO, give me more experience to do. I'll talk to my founder. Everybody is going to give me this idea. So it makes the work very easy for me. I hear you at that time, you are at that time that you are uh, always emotional. If you don't even take care, sometimes you want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> they see you, see you cry, doesn't cry like that. But there are days that you, you, you want to cry. Uh, somebody told me that as well, this team, the, uh, everything. So sometimes you even wish you, you approach mm -hmm. a referees and talk to them, tell the players your peace of mind because Charlie, he know uh, you know him. <laughs> Which of the games really did, did you really wish this one here? <laughs> Tell me. I just want you to share the experience with us. Which one was difficult for you? Which defeats really did it pay you a double dent? Tell me. Which one? That defeat was we played away game against Field Masters. <laughs> Field, they scored us 14. <laughs> and and why we, we, we scored the first goal in one minute. <laughs> And they came and equalized and punished us, punished us. <laughs> that game, I couldn't even eat when I got home. <laughs> <laughs> well, so uh, family, uh, this, this uh, Kutuku, uh, they are like a family. Get to know them more and then you understand why they always do things uh, for themselves. There is always unity, there is always love. See so you, let me just find out. Why are you people doing this? Why are you investing in these young boys and... Uh, why these days putting everything inside tell us okay so like i said earlier we're trying to give these boys an opportunity to better their lives so those who are talented in the football want to groom them and make them better well it's i ask because it's capital intensive there are days you have to um even your investment you have in your businesses you have to plow them Put them in this football thing uh, a whole lot accommodation feeding people's sons and future fathers and <laughs> stuff like that doing all these things and not getting resources like available resources that okay let me use this one today but there are days even your time your family time your resources that you can use to take care of your family you are planning it into this is the reason i'm asking and why you guys are doing it and what's really the plan for this club okay so like you said it's an investment so we're putting in all that we can now, hoping to reap something in the future. Yes, so a lot goes in, yes, down to um, renting of AstroTex, um, the pitches that we play. Um, if, you, if you could realize this, this season, we played all our home matches at the AstroTex, um, Aladjo AstroTex. And for every match we played there, we paid. Mm -hmm. paid, yes, for every match because we wanted to film it, yes, and for all our home matches we also filmed it so we could have videos to promote um, these young ones. So every, every, so you're saying it's that uh, with the directive that uh, the regional football association give that, at least if there is any astute closer to you, they prefer you use that one, uh, it, it goes against you, you have to pay to you use know, every... Probably because we are not in that community okay we are um in Ganoff, okay uh of Fancourt to be precise so you you we, adopted we need to yes we had to travel there to use their facility i i believe that's the reason we are paying for wow so you paid throughout the season yes we paid throughout all our home matches 
this season. Wow. Do you, do you have any any aside in your your family and friends that help you? Is there any entity that really are helping you guys to do this project? Um, yes, we have um, a few sponsors. Okay. Um, Davos Sports. Mention. Okay. Um, there's KBKB, Kwabna Kwabna Music. Kwabna Kwabna happens to be um, a friend, a family friend, yeah. So he's also on board. And we also have um, the Paris France class, Paris France, uh, French class. Mm -hmm. They also, it's a school. So they, you could learn French, be fluent in French in three months mm -hmm. if you enroll with them. So for now, we have these three people solidly behind us. Whoa. Is there room for other people to Oh, come? sure. Sure. <laughs> um, the, the door, our doors are opened. We, we are open to discussions, to any corporate body, any individual who wants, who is impressed with our, uh, our um, I mean, our, our vision, mm. yes, to help us or to come on board. We are open, our doors are opened. I, I know we are in the social media era. I, I, I wanted to keep the Kobla Kobla aspect because the last time we said, hey, so, so Kobla Kobla has a club. Ah. So, yeah, yeah. so I, I, I just wanted to draw him out so that we, we look at the club itself and nobody says that, oh, this guy is a sweet guy, he sings so, he has money. So that, that's what I was asking. So yes, Kobla Kobla is a friend to the club. Yes, uh, a friend. Blah, 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 everything. Yes. But looking at it, uh, if an entity out there really wants to come on board and come and really assist, on social media where where can they get you? you can mention your numbers you're fine but maybe somebody wants a personal uh face-to-face -face interactions to see what sort of uh, support can i bring maybe i am into production of shirts maybe i'm into production of water maybe i'm into production of food something uh probably not directly giving you money but resources that can help these boys and others to really do where can they get you okay so uh, um, they can get us on Instagram. Okay, so Instagram. At Instagram at Kotoku Shining Stars. At Kotoku Shining Stars. Of Facebook shop. at Kotoku Shining Stars. X at Kotoku Shining Stars. So viewers, as, as you watch, please uh, go there right now and then send me a message. Let me know if indeed uh, you can get that, that pitch, if it's not working, so that we can tell them uh, right now. You know, uh, so once again, uh, when you go to Facebook right now, when and I want to Facebook check right now, I, I should you just type Kotoku Shining Stars FC. Kotoku Shining Stars FC. FC. No, I go to X, then I do X. X. You do Kotoku at Kotoku Shining Stars. I, I will get you guys. You get us. Get Insta every update. Update. Instagram at Kotoku Shining Stars. Okay. And YouTube. Okay. Watch our videos. Kutuku. at Kutuku Shining Stars. Okay, so uh, uh, viewers, please go there and then check if it's there. Just do the like and tell them and uh, write it under the videos and under the col uh, columns. Uh, I watched you so I can see that it's true so that uh, when they go, they really understand. Now, uh, Siga, let, let, let's do this. Everybody comes in, yes, we want to help, blah, blah, blah. From the day you guys decided to fall in love, form a club, push everything, are the players really giving you the reason to continue to invest in them. Are they that good? <laughs> um, to say they are good is to say the least. Okay. Uh, Kotoku Shining Stars. When you come to Kotoku Shining Stars, the boys are disciplined. Mm -hmm. They are still disciplined. Um, they are punctual. Um, I mean, we teach them good morals. Yes, the boys are good. The boys are good. The technical benches, a team is also doing a very fantastic job with the boys. Um, we've had a couple of call-ups to the U20, U19, and even U17. So Kotoku is a juvenile side. We really concentrate on um, boys' talents from the ages of 14 to 20 years in that group and um, we've had call-ups like i said to u19 u20 um currently we even have one player at uh, mabel fc that's in spain Ooh. yes and another one is in the uae uh, he's playing for laval united fc yeah um 
some of the boys have also gone to the premier clubs. They've gone for trials. They some stayed for a few seasons, um, a few matches of seasons, and they came back. Or they've gone to higher places. Yes. Yeah, so I'll say that the our boys are good because I think we give them the best training. You know how. Okay. So we're still talking about Kotoku. We're celebrating the Wu. So if if you know any of the teams, uh, really that are, are doing something so pictures of them uh, their matches and uh, how they were celebrated uh, you look at it very well and you could see really determination written on the faces of these young boys and and their color blue white yeah and like a team i'm coming to you because uh, next after winning zone four is the middle league uh, i don't want you to tell us your plans for the middle league <laughs> but what is the target for the middle league they are look i have spoken with uh, um, some CEOs and team leaders and they tell that that's for my team i don't even want them to come to the premier i do it and i produce players i give them out i don't want any premier league with so as for them they don't want to come to premier <laughs> they are in division two uh, your aim is to get to division one do you really want to be division one or you just want to cement your place as uh, division two so that you'll be your boss tell me Tim, what's the plan for the middle league are you winning Oh, we are just going there to go and showcase our talent, <laughs> to showcase our boys. Because my boys play good football, I can't take that out of them. In this Division 2 in Greater Accra, I don't know the team who plays beautiful <laughs> football. What do you mean? Football, like Kotoku Shani. Some, somebody said, wait, sometimes when you're on TV, you shouldn't say that you play sexy football. No, <laughs> we should, we should, so beautiful football. Nobody plays so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> like Kotoku Shiny Star. Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isho, we play the most sweetest football in Greater So when I call Qatar team. right now, Qatar is watching me and Georgia. You can call him Even the Division 2 clubs, you can call them. They all know. They all know. <laughs> they all know. <laughs> Kavito, so uh, that's it. That's, that's the, the celebrations uh, when they give them this beautiful trophy. Uh, you can see smiles on their faces. Teamwork, bonding. Kavito, you, you are going to the Middle League. All the winners. And, and the zones are coming. Don't tell me that, oh, I'm going to train here. Everybody's preparing. Don't tell me that so that somebody knows. I'm asking, uh, what is the target? Kotoku Chinese Star is one of the clubs who always want to go out, come out with a win. Mm -hmm. But the, in this case, um, we are going to um, pull ourselves. Okay. We are going to show them what we can do. Mm -hmm. We are going to let them see what we are capable of doing. Mm -hmm. When the chance is there, why not? We take the glory. They are going to play good football. So, so you are part of the, the the team that really understands the GFS DNA. I hear you people play agro football. They lie uh, agro football. They said they've done some DNA. Be so. Uh, the teams are watching you. I know <laughs> everybody's watching you. So, is it that they should just expect something good? Your fans, what should they expect? Middle league. They will launch it very soon. But what what should they expect? Uh, we are coming all out. Mm. So they should be ready for us. Okay, TM, you spoke in. Ma, middle league. Um, to add a little to what they've already said, so our main aim is to showcase our boys. We want the world to see them. To that see they, are, they are talented. They are talented. She. Yes. Um, we know we are babies in this game because we're just four years, but then we have good materials. So we just want to showcase them, we want to enjoy, we want them to enjoy playing at the, um, the stadium, a big, the ambience, everything around. We want them to have a feel of it. Yes. Truth be told, we would have loved to stay in Division 3. <laughs> if, 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 if Division 3, I mean, if the structures there it was good, um, we playing on pitches and all that, videoing and everything in place like the division two is because you don't have relegation there so would that really like <laughs> yeah because honestly truly this is very capital intensive mm. it's very capital intensive and a lot of time a lot of time is needed so yes um middle league we just want to go and have fun want to have fun the boys so if it happens that you, you play this your tiki taka football your beautiful samba football whatever you call it and gf is calling it agro would you know what the kotoku style of play where you'll be you'll be shining even when there is 
and I won't say do so. When when the, the, <laughs> <Okay, it's real. laughs> when there's rain, you still be shining. And and Premier League clubs decide to devour, pick all your players away. Are we going to get another kutuku for for another season? Because if they are playing from goalkeeper to I've watched you people before, it's like you guys understand what you're doing. So, but I'm not here to blow your trumpet. Everybody will see it. But if it happens that the Premier League clubs who are now with the calf idea now that like you need to get junior teams, blah blah blah. They know they need to get a feeder team and they decide that one pick 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 all the Premier League clubs are picking. Will you get another bunch of young talented guys to still keep that brand, that beautiful football you play? Um so with Kotoku, if you watch our matches, you might see regular faces. Let's see our first eleven. After that, we have like three different sets and they all play good football all at our boys they, they play so our regular sets even if the premiership decide or foreign clubs outside decide to take them we still have a backup no oh, okay we still have a backup right. even if we decide to bench all our first 11 players and use the next team okay to play the middle league now nah, you, you <laughs> see <laughs> Uh, coach that were with whom they are learning your tricks. Too. You use your junior team to be some team. <laughs> Great. And once again, which which entities, for instance, will, will you accept the telcos to come and say we, we we associate with champions and so we, we want to we want to partner with um, um Kutuku, let's say the telcos, MTN, Vodafone, uh, or whatever. You want to really come on board? We'd love that. Our doors, like I said, our doors are open to corporate Ghana. Anybody. The banks anybody we are ready to talk it over with them and see where they can fit in okay what one thing i'll come to you but please take ponder over this what one thing will you wish that the uh, rfe uh, led by qatar and his team will do to make the league more exciting than what we've seen in the 2023 2024 i'll come to you uh team let me come to you yes middle league is just around the corner um what is it that you are you are telling other potential good players that wants to associate themselves with uh kotuku you have players there but other people have seen that the way you are going when i join i'll be more polished and become better like what we have seen so maybe team players want to really come and justify their inclusion you are the tm and your team members um what advice will you give them because there is a standard oh i'll advise them to come mm -hmm. when you come i have my technical men i have my scouts when they watch you you are good just let's pick you up to join the team so we can polish you more to become the person you want to be the better one yeah. so so my boys i beg you no 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 a team that is disciplined is disciplined if you look at them you understand abu market love everything has been capital so um, um I, I want you to give the fans a message because that's for you because of you people some of us will come and sit at their class for studio and watch you because I hear the venue be their class for the for the the middle league. Now give fans a message. Why you should come and just watch beautiful football? Tell me. Okay, um, those who follow us and those who have been supporting us from day one knows what we do. They know. <laughs> yes, they know. They know. They know what you do. So they should just come and and, and support us. We will just give them what they want. Mm. Yes. Okay. Mom, I'm, I'm, I'm coming back to so what, what you wish the okay. RFP really would do to make it so. Guys... This might sound, <laughs> it might sound big, but um, to be more serious, if we have good pitches to play on, all the clubs in the division two, if they could get grass, astroturf, so that everyone has a feel of it. I mean, you want to film video a match and is on the sakura park who is going to watch that and we're grooming these boys with the the hope that they would get a better club opportunity outside to play so if we are not able to video these boys whilst they are at their peak playing how are you going to get the materials to send them mm. or for them people to watch and so when you also video you can put the links on on i mean all the social media platforms you don't have to be at the park to watch us play you can just join and watch anywhere in the world so i i don't know if they can do that for us in the next season would really appreciate it okay 
And so now I'm, uh, we are checking out from the studio. But let me salute once again, Kobna Kobna. Uh, I know uh, if this middle league, uh, your team wins, I know you come and do some show. You come and sing. And, uh, so the team, the team plays football like the way Kobna Kobna sings. Very, very soothing, mm -hmm. beautiful, romantic. Well, in here, uh, I didn't even know that a gentleman can play football like that. But yeah. the day I saw him, I said, Queer, this guy. And so, come now, come now, wherever you are and your friends, um, please uh, tell more of your friends to come on board and come and support because the talents here are good. And uh, let, let's go and then hype it. It's our own. Uh, we're not, we're not. Let, let's go and then push it up. And so, um, as you get ready and you prepare, I know you're very on the for the middle league, but we're wishing you guys all the best. Please don't disappoint. Yeah. Ganet, please don't disappoint Ganet. I am saying it because a lot of people believe in you and believe that more of the collapse will come. National teams, you guys will feel it because your ages to are right. So please uh, make sure that any day you get the opportunity, you shine so that everyone knows that where I'm coming from, I'm already shining. So I'm the light. So thank you very much. This trophy, you carry it away. But when you win the middle league, please promise us that you still come back here to so come and tell us more about yourself. Aye. TM, thank you very much. Capito, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Mom, thank you very much. So that has been. Can we do some maternal Do 30, 30 seconds. Do let's oh, okay. go. So. Yes, okay. I would like to say a big thank you to the GAFA, mm -hmm. um, the chairman of GAFA, Samuel Abwabri, aka Kata. Captain Kata. Uh, Chairman Kata. Kata. Yes, for his good work. He and the ESCO members, mm. they've done a fantastic job. I mean, if you see how the Division Two League has progressed over the I mean, two, three years now, you've seen they keep doing better. Mm. I want to thank them and all the stakeholders, everybody, all our fans, um, those we already have, those who come after this interview watching us, we, they are all welcome. We say thank you to them and would love everybody to come and support us. Um, to our colleague teams to in division um, in the zone four, would want to say um should let bygones be bygones i mean we are humans you step on one person's toes you forgive you move on so they should all come with a clean heart to support zone four okay support zone four and so zone four will always be the exciting one but the rest of the zones are also watching and so let's see how it goes remember cross your fingers whoever wins the middle league will bring them here the rest of the teams will also be coming back kutuku has started with us and please follow them on all their social media handles if you know somebody that can help them please just get in touch with them and let them help them kobla kobla once again i say thank you very much for showing love all the musicians shata wale come on board take one of the teams <laughs> shata come 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 uh beam 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 nation beam. all of you come beam. come 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 and come and do uh and, and let's see how it goes so thank you very much thank that's been the page uh the page you change same time tomorrow i'm tifla sampa have a lovely day